a bakery. Uh, these two kids have got bubble teas and also uh, we're just waiting for the bubble teas. Uh, the rest of the family is at a restaurant helping uh, dim sum and just waiting for bubble teas. So yeah. This is my niece. This is my niece Carly. <laughs> You two little rascals. Yeah. What are we waiting for? What are we waiting for, Carly? Oh. Yeah. Drinks. Drinks. What are we yeah. ordered? Stuff. Stuff. Yeah. Stuff. <laughs> yeah, I want them. Oh, there's. Oh, look, I what you like, but we've got some at home already. Mm -hmm. Just come to Chinese supermarket and do it, okay? Oh, Just come to Chinese supermarket and, of course, we're down. The snack aisle yeah, with the kids. Yeah, this is what I got so far. Oops. Turkey Toyo sweets. Yeah. And apple flavor um, high two. And a box of a little teddy bears that has chocolate inside. Chocolate bears is I literally grew up on these. If you're Chinese kid, you must have had these before. I love these. Um, you can't have it all at once though, okay? These are just like for treats. I want this for the cold daddy. How's well, the bubble tea? Uh, it's really good. Really I've just come across these tights which are really interesting. I'm going to buy a pair. Um, well, you get three pairs. It's um, called Body Sensor Open Tights. And it keeps you warm when it's cool and cool when it's warm, which sounds really good. And it's £8 for three pairs. So I'm going to buy a pair and report back. I think I'm going to get um, 60 I think 60 is the good amount. Sometimes I get 100 if I want it to be like completely blacked out my legs. Um, but otherwise, 60 is what I normally go for. <laughs> Mommy, something was so funny. What? Before Cold um, tried to get so silly, these places right here, and then Tai got here, and then Tai sat down and said, I'm not your butt, yeah. <laughs> and she's so cute to me. She's so cute to me. The poor old mouth, I know. It's so funny. Why? Why? My mum's not impressed. Right. Right. She's been left with two kids. <laughs> we are psycho kids. I got a uh, Spider-Man, my favourite superhero, and my favourite, favourite mythical way creature. Way. Dragons. Cute. Go on then. My dad gave him some pocket money to go shopping. So he's got his own money, he's paying for his own stuff. <laughs> Dragon little man. You can stand on the steps here then if you want. We are currently at the car wash, even though it's raining outside, um, because yesterday, um, when I came out of my mum's house and went into uh, my car, I realised, I don't know if it was because I was parked underneath a tree, but there was like brown splodges of stuff all over my car. It was either I packed under a, a tree and the things were falling down from the tree or someone threw dog poo at my car because it literally looks like dog poo. It's all like across my bonnet and then um, so yeah even though it's raining today I still need to come and get a car wash because I can't get that off and I'm not touching it just in case it is dog poo. So I've come to uh, the car wash so they can use their jet washes to get it off. Um, without me having to, you know, get my hands in there and scrub it off. Um, 
I think the jet wash is uh, strong enough to get it off. Yeah, and I can't hear you. You can't hear me, and that's really noisy because they're jet washing my car. And also, I just realised how much cheaper a car wash is up north than what I normally pay. Here it's saying eight ninety nine for a car wash. I pay twenty five pounds. Actually, that's inside as well. I don't need inside. So inside would be sixteen ninety nine. But still, sixteen ninety nine compared to twenty five pounds. Um, it's a lot. And if I just want it outside and not inside, um, where I could go for my car wash, it's sixteen pounds. And it's eight ninety nine here, so it's like it's double. It's like Off. It looks like it's coming off because the window, there's some on my windscreen as well and it looks like it's gone. So, yeah. Uh, cooking dinner at my parents. Uh, my mum's cooked a few dishes and I'm cooking this Thai stir fry dish, which is one of my favourites. I thought I'd cook it for my parents to try because obviously they don't cook stuff like this usually. They cook like really traditional Chinese food. Um, so, yeah, I'm gonna cook them this. This is what the finished dish looks like. Uh, mum will have it on top of rice um, with fried egg. And then here's my mum cooking duck with toy and some fish in there. And then, yeah, just cleaning as she's cooking. Typical Chinese mum. Hello. <laughs> Just got back home after five and a half hours drive. Still have half of my stuff in the boot, but um, yeah, I need to start unpacking now I've got so much i don't know why um i have so many things and i've got these cute little slippers from primark i think they're about like eight pounds they're so cute but anyways yeah i'm gonna get unpacking and then i'll probably see you in my next vlog say bye coffee bye 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 <laughs> I've just went downstairs and brought up the rest of the luggage and I just wanted to show you this blazer that I found in my mum's wardrobe and I took it, I asked her if she wanted it and she said that I could take it so my mum's vintage Burberry blazer which she bought, I'm pretty sure it was in the 90s because late 90s they changed their name from Burberry's to Burberry uh, so this is actually their old name and it's got all of their like old labeling and tags and hangers so this is like proper vintage and yeah she said i can have it it's a size 14 and it is quite um oversized for me and it does have shoulder pads in because you know like the 90s and the 80s was all about broad shoulder pads and a lot of my mum's places actually have shoulder pads in so what i'm gonna do is I'm going to see if there's an opening to take out the shoulder pads because it is quite padded. If not, then I could wear a little bit oversized, but I would prefer it to not have shoulder pads. But look, look at this like old school badge that it's got on. What does it say there? Burberry's. And it's got like that old logo. Oh my God. I just love this so much. And it's got gold buttons and it's like an ivory cream colour. I, yeah, I am just going to treasure this. My mum said that I could sell it if I wanted to. I said, no, I'm not going to sell it because it's a vintage piece and it's probably going to be really hard to find something like this in the future. So I said, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to wear it and, yeah, have it in my wardrobe. Anyways, thought I'd just show you this. <laughs> 